Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and yes, now, my part three review of The Bad Batch. And yes, because, as I said in uh, the last part, because the, ne the next episodes, uh, they're, they're pretty good, actually. Um, especially because, yeah, episodes seven and eight, and they came out the same day. Um, and episode nine, well, because it's not tied directly. Well, I mean, it's after the events of episodes seven and eight, so, you know. Um, episode seven, The Clone Conspiracy, and episode eight, The Truth and Consequences. Like, these two are connected, and they are some pretty good episodes for season two. And episode nine, The Crossing. So, with episode seven, uh, The Clone Conspiracy, uh, a, con a conspiracy begins to unravel around the squad as secrets behind the clones come to light. Um, and uh, episode eight, truth and consequences, brought into a sky uh, into a risky mission. Sorry, the batch must work together and use stealth to survive. Okay, and episode nine, uh, the uh, the crossing. The team tackles a risky mission on a, a hostile world as part of their past finally catches up with them. So, um, the first two episodes, episodes seven and eight, like, they are really good. Taking place entirely on Coruscant because, um, you know, more clones are having doubt on the Empire, and, like, they just, they're just getting tired and sick of all this, and because, you know, they followed the Order, of course, being Order 66. And we get the returning appearance, uh, that is, you know, the, the location of the Clone Bar, where, you know, that, that, uh, that appeared in, uh, Season 6 of the Clone Wars, where, you know, Fives, was on the run, and these two, uh, clone troopers, um, Cade and, uh, Slip, I think I got that one clone's name right, Cade, um, I don't think it's Cad, no, probably not, but, um, apparently, like, Cade, he couldn't, uh, stay silent, and he had, uh, Vice Admiral Rampart, like, he, he wants Vice Admiral Rampart to tell the truth, because Cade was there, uh, in Season 1, when, you know, Vice Admiral Rampart and, you know, all the other uh, Star Cruisers, you know, they l literally, you know, destroyed um, uh, Camino, the home of the clones, you know, the buildings. And apparently, uh, that was turned into a lie, because apparently they said that uh, the uh, storms on Camino caused the destruction of those buildings, like, very severe storms, but that was not the case. We all know what happened. They demolished and destroyed, obliterated those buildings, the home of the clones, where it all began. Ugh. So, yeah, and, and basically, you know, uh, Cade he at one point gets killed by a sniper, you know, undercover. And of course, it's obvious, Vice Admiral Rampart, you know, sent out that sniper to kill Cade, and also Slip. But Slip does survive, and we get the returning appearance of Senator uh, Chuchi, uh, like that, the, like, blue-faced alien species with a bit of, like, yellow dots or whatever, um, that did appear a lot in the Clone Wars a couple of times. Even, like, say she, uh, I think, yeah, she one time, uh, teamed up with Ahsoka in Season 3, um, and, um, even say, you know, making an appearance in, uh, the prequel trilogy, and, um, you know, having a silent appearance, and actually, uh, Senator, Senator Chuchi was played by George Lucas's daughter, and which, you know, in Revenge of the Sith, George Lucas does make an appearance, you know, as, um, the Senator's father, and which, you know, the Senator's father would appear in, uh, The Clone Wars, voiced by Corey Burton. I think he gave him, like, an Orson Welles voice, I want to say. I I'm pretty sure. But Senator Chuchi, she, uh, wants to help out on the clones. 
and um, even Slip tells Chuchi about what really happened to Camino, and uh, you know she wants to help Slip. Uh, Bail Bail Organa is kind of in on this too. Yeah, we get the returning appearance of Bail Organa once again, voiced by Phil Lamar. Um, and uh, yeah, Jennifer Hale, yeah, she, she reprises the role of Senator uh, Chuchi, and she also is the voice of Commer Commerce uh, Guild Sen Senator. And uh, Stephen, San Stephen Stanton, he reprises the voice role of Maz Amida, if I'm saying that right, like, you know, uh, Palpatine's right-hand man, you know, the blue, like, alien and with the staff, yeah, so he he's back. And even, like, say, Moss is kind of uh, setting Vice Admiral Rampart straight, like, you know, just to not mess up and stuff like that. And um, also, Senator Palmo, if I'm saying that name right, who made an appearance in Rogue One, a Star Wars story, played by the same actress, Sharon Duncan Brewster. Yeah, um, she reprises her role, you know, voicing, you know, her character in uh, The Bad Batch for one quick appearance in, you know, the Galactic Senate. So th that was pretty cool. I do like that, you know, sometimes they can bring in actors who've played their live action roles in uh, Star Wars. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure I've, t I've said that before, but still. Um, and, 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 and also, the sniper that Vice Admiral Rampart sent out, I was very curious about that guy. I was like, who, who really is this sniper? And of course we do find out, and if anybody hadn't figured it out, um, because at one point, yeah, um, Slip, he unfortunately does get killed, and Slip, he did let uh, Chuchi know that he had uh, saved uh, footage, basically a file, uh, evidence of uh, the destruction of Camino. and unfortunately, as I said, Slip, he got killed, and so did uh, Chuchi's, uh, you know, two guards, and Rex, Captain Rex, once again makes an appearance in The Bad Batch and in Season 2, and he helps out Chuchi and stopping the sniper, and it turns out that the sniper is a clone and doesn't have a resignation number, yeah. And he's just not, re he's kind of refusing to talk at first, and, you know, even at one point, like, yeah, he does talk a little, but I don't think, I can't remember, like, I don't think he gives, like, the information that they're wanting to have, and basically, I, I feel like I had a feeling this was coming, the clone kills himself, like, you know, bites his teeth and electri electricity. Jeez. Talk about a brutal suicide there. And literally, that's how the episode ends. Literally. Um, yeah, what a way to end that episode. But good thing, because, you know, um, with episode um, uh, eight, yeah. Because, again, this came out the same day as episode seven, which was good. Um, yeah, the Bad Batch has done that at times. Uh, have, like, just, I think, two episodes coming out at once. Yeah, so, yeah. So, Truth and Consequences. So, we continue uh, this story that's happening with, uh, you know, trying to reveal the the information and what really happened to Kamino, the Bad Batch, and Omega, they, of course, appear, and they help out Rex, and, um, you know, like, the Bad Batch, they go off to recover the evidence on one of the, you know, uh, Star, um, Star Destroyers, while Omega uh, helps uh, Senator Chuchi, and we also get the returning appearance of, I think it's a... Uh, 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 it's a Camino uh, uh, senator, uh, an elder, an elderly Camino senator, and I believe it's, uh, I believe, yeah, this is her, Haley, uh, Haley uh, Bertani. Yeah, I think I got that right. Who, you know, did appear uh, a handful of times in the Clone Wars, and yeah, it's been quite a while since we've seen her, and um, you know. Chuchi is having a conversation with her and about Kamino and so on, and a mentioning of Lama Su, and um, it's all and it's pretty funny because you know um, 
the the Star Destroyer that, that the Bad Batch and Rex they go in to recover the evidence that they need to expose Rampart. Um, basically, like they just have the Star Destroyer just crash on you know the docking uh, surface. You know what I'm saying? And like they don't fly. They don't like they don't have it fly off. <laughs> you know if you, you, you get my point. And yeah, and this was a pretty awesome moment where literally Vice Admiral Rampart is flat out exposed. The entire the Galactic Senate, they see the evidence. They see the holographic footage of Camino being demolished and destroyed by Rampart's doing and Right after that footage is shown, well, of course, a big stir happens. Everybody is talking, you know? And then there's an alarm that goes off, and long behold, rising is Emperor Palpatine. Yep. And E. McDermott, of course, reprising the role of Emperor Palpatine, giving this speech, and Admiral Rampart is placed under arrest. And basically, Palpatine... You know, and knowing Palpatine, he twists this whole thing because, you know, giving the uh, proposed order of stormtroopers. The birth of stormtroopers happens. Yes, so basically, because I think Palpatine, he did want this to happen, but, you know, with a twist to, you know have the order of stormtroopers be granted you know what i'm saying and of course yeah even the bad batch and rex they realized that and you know the fate of the clones are sealed because of them and you know chuchi she'll still do whatever it takes to help the clones uh so will rex and even um echo echo uh stays behind for now, you know, he's, you know, because he, uh, for now, is helping Rex and Chuchi, um, and it's kind of emotional for Omega, because, you know, it, to her, it kind of feels like it's goodbye, you know, but it really isn't, like, you know, he's not, you know, leaving the Bad Batch, you know, he's just gonna be stepping down for a while and helping out Rex and Chuchi, so, you know... Um, and, uh, yeah, pretty tough on Omega, and especially since, you know, in the next episode, you know, she's still thinking about that, thinking that, you know, they lost Echo, which, you know, that's not true. So, yeah, um, episodes seven and eight were really good, definitely. And finally, we have episode nine, The Crossing. Now, in this one, because, yeah, this is the aftermath of what happened in the last two episodes, and when Echo left the Bad Batch, again, for now, and Omega still thinking about that, thinking that, you know, they lost Echo, and so on, and the Bad Batch, because, you know, um, they're on a hostile world, and as I read the description, and um, a lot of things happen in this episode. First off, like, they get into a stampede of, you know, these creatures. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Um, did they ever, did, did they name those creatures? Like, did the Bad Batch say what they were? I can't remember. Even, like, say, Wrecker kind of getting caught in the stampede. Um, and um, I don't know. For some reason, the Lion King pops in my head because, you know, of the canyon and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but it, it just popped in my head. That's all. Um, even at one point, their ship gets stolen. Now, I feel like, yeah, a, a couple of people say that this was uh, Sid's doing, but no, I don't think so. And especially since we got, you know, episode 10. So, and when I get to that. Um, and they're also, like, they're trying to find, like, you know, they're something from the mines, I want to say, and even, say, Omega at one point, because she wants some alone time after, you know, kind of having a meltdown about Echo 
um, she does find, um, you know, gold, you know, some, you know, gold and silver. And um, Tech, even uh, helping out Omega uh, retrieve the, you know, the gold. And even at one point, like, Omega slips and falls way down uh, into water and, you know, Tech, you know, going after her to, to help her and save her. And they even, like, say, go through, you know, um, uh, rapids and go, you know, going down a waterfall. And Omega, you know, really feels like Tech doesn't seem to care on what has happened. That, you know, b first off, you know, Crosshair and now Echo, you know, it, it just, she, feel, she feels like Echo doesn't really seem to care or, you know, understand, I guess, and have emotions. But, you know, I... He does explain. He does. He does reassure Omega. And another, another another thing is, I've heard from some people that this episode felt like it was bringing more character development. And yeah, I, I think yeah, I think I agree on that too, because we get a lot more uh, of these characters, like you know, such as um, Omega and Tech, and you know, moments between those two characters. You know, just so much going on and a lot of talk, you know. Um, and, um, yeah, of course, you know, things start to look pretty good for Omega and Tech. And that, you know, they are family. Like, Omega is part of this family, the Bad Batch. And, of course, they do find their way out of the mining tunnels and even say they tried to they they did they contacted Sid at one point and yeah Sid being kind of like too not going not easy on the bad batch you know like she, she does like tell them that she will help help out just a little bit you know even like say when Hunter was telling her that you know they're out of rashes but she like she just cuts off like, when Hunter's explaining that they're out of food, you know? Like, geez, Sid. <laughs> um, and of course, you know, right before the episode ends, like, you know, they, of course, continue on to find their ship. And yeah, with episode 10, like, they do retrieve their ship, but there's a lot more in episode 10. And again, until I get to reviewing episode 10 in, you know, my part four review. So, uh, yeah. Uh, episodes 7, 8, and 9 were some pretty good episodes, especially uh, the first two, you know, taking place on Coruscant, exposing Rampart, you know, the the true reveal of what happened to Kamino. They, they were really good, and episode 9 was not bad, too. It was, it was okay, as I said seemed to do a lot more character development, and that was good. That That's a good thing. And what about you guys? What did you think of episodes eight, uh, 7, 8, and 9? And what did you think of my review? Leave comments and give this review a like as always. So, with that being said, this has been my part 3 review of season 2 of The Bad Batch. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. More reviews on the way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. Take care, and until my part four review, peace out, and may the force be with you.